He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. Hello, welcome back to episode 56 of the Jimmy Mewitt Challenge. We are in a pretty sticky situation. So, we're just outside the playoffs on goal difference. But we have four incredibly hard uh, games, which will determine whether we actually make it in the playoffs at all. We have Leeds away today, who are second. We then have Swansea at home, Middlesbrough away, and then Bristol City, who are third. So, that's second... Top, uh, Middlesbrough are 17th and 3rd. As you can see from our schedule, we got absolutely FM'd. So, this period here, we lost against Forest. Lost in the FA Cup against Newcastle. We then drew against Birmingham, which should have been a win. Beat Brentford. Lost against Palace. Mewitt, Jimmy Mewitt scored. Lost against Reading. Jimmy Mewitt scored twice. In that period there, um, our striker got injured for five weeks. And it seemed to me like we were getting FMs. Maybe I'm wrong and I'm just a uh, conspiracy theory. Carl and Grant. He's been banging goals and he was injured for five weeks, but we've got him back now. Jimmy Mew actually uh, played second fiddle to him. He came in as the striker and that's when he actually scored his goals. Um, so today we are playing the league, uh, the league games against Leeds and Swansea. Now, I think if we don't get points from both of these games, we are likely to drop out of that playoff race, I'm afraid. It's just kind of got away from us a little bit. We will be back when we're ready to play. Okay, as you can see, there's the teams. They're playing a 4-2-3-1, really high, really wide attacking formation. We're actually going to change this into a 4-1-4-1 and go cautious. In the dressing room, Team talk. I'll go cautious. Huge underdogs. See how they respond to that. Tunnel. We'll just go for the usual. It's a tremendous occasion. I want my players to be up for the match. He's played well without with uh, without reward. Carlin Grant, he hasn't scored for a, a few games. So we'll change that to cautious. We'll change our formation to a 4-1-4-1 and lastly we will change these so that it shows live scores because we want to know what's going on especially in these games here and into the action we go They had a set piece, which has gone straight to our goalkeeper. I feel like they're dominating way too much. So, the way we're going to deal with that is change a few of the settings. I'll be back when... Okay. Just move things around a little bit. Trying to play on the counter-attack, but they're obviously dominating. So we've got the ball here. We need to get it forward a little bit quicker. So there's a ball into Grant that doesn't quite make it. And has put them on the counter-attack. And he's kept it in. And luckily, that has gone over the bar. Still yet to create a single chance. 
that's going to be tough. They've got a throw in here. Don't let him deliver it. Oh, no. Can we nick it and counter-attack? I think this is going to be a, a dangerous opportunity for them. Oh, he's giving away a penalty. Armstrong with the penalty. Saved! Wow. What a let-off that is. Okay. Can we deal with that? Still not much distance on our, our clearances. Williams. Right. Okay, well, I don't really want to look around the... The other grounds until we know what's going on. It feels like we're kind of just waiting to concede. Currently we are up into those playoff places. That could all change instantly, of course, if we were to concede a goal. Oh, I thought that was going to be the ball. Some stressful watching. Can we get the seconds on this? Or the thirds? Oh, he's going to keep it in. And it's a goal. Well, that changes everything. Going to have to come out now. Play in our normal style. I don't know why that's not changing. That's, that's interesting. One second. Back into the action. Oh, this could be a disaster. It's just too easy. Clear the ball. Lopez presses him. Not tight enough, really. There you go. Okay, 30 minutes. Can we get ourselves back into the game? Here we go. Ugh, look like it. I don't know what's going on here. We've got a free kick. Grant. We're on the wall. Saved. He scored. Oh my goodness. Is it counted? It has. Just made a quick change there while it was showing the highlight. Can we see it through? 25 minutes left. We've got a long throw. Ball in. We've won. They got the flicks. He's flicked it away. It's to the edge of the box and it's over the bar. <sighs> we couldn't get a winner, could we? I'm more worried about getting counter attack, to be honest. Lopez delivers Grant McEachern. McEachern again. <gasps> he's done it. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's done it. We're 2-1 up against second in the league. Let's have a look if we can solidify this now. I'll be back in two seconds. As you can see, great work by Lopez. Fires it in. Grant sets it back. McEachern hits it off them. Turns and finishes. What a result this would be. Unbelievable. We've made a slight change. Gone 5-4-1. Just to try and see it out. Last five minutes. I'll make one more change. I'll bring on a Noma and go. I know that's a disgraceful formation, but I don't really care. Two minutes. One minute left. 
We've got a set piece. And it's gone for a penalty. Is it actually gone for a penalty? It has. It's gone for a penalty. We could seal this. Who's going to take it? <laughs> I've no idea who's going to take it. Williams. Scores. Wow. Well, I would have been happy with one point from each game, so two points altogether to keep us in the playoffs. But we've done it. Wow. See you. Ready for the next game. Okay, well, after that shock uh, victory against Leeds, that leaves us with three games remaining. Now, I would probably suggest that we need to win all three to guarantee automatic promotion, which is going to be very, very tough. The Middlesbrough game, I would think we would win. This game today, if we lose that, I think it's all done. We'll see you with the teams. Okay, team lineups are out. Uh, team lineups are out. So we are. They have a four two. Is that Shane Duffy? Yeah, four two three one. Obviously, top of the league at the moment. This guy must be quite good. Who's got all their goals then? Seventeen, ten. Oh, they've, they've shared them out quite a lot. So there you go. We're sticking with our four three three, and hopefully. We can get the victory. Obviously keeping one eye on the other fixtures. Lopez with the long throw into the box. Hasn't been dealt with well at all. Crystal Palace have gone 1-0 up. Chong on the ball. Bristol Rovers are losing. Bristol City, sorry, are losing. Graham won't like the fact that I mixed them two up. He's never given a penalty. He's given another penalty. That's the same player again. I swear this happened last season. This exact same thing happened last season. And he saved it again. This exact same thing happened last season. There was a specific player that kept giving away penalties. Can we get there? If we can, we can create a, a counter-attack here. McEachern's done brilliantly well to keep the ball in the pitch. And chong has got some pace on him. So he's, he's actually caught up with him and overtaken him. We're looking statistically not very really good on the old. Um, I think we'll go a little bit more cautious, um, just with the fact that they're holding a lot of the possession, and uh, hopefully we can work our way in. Such a shame that we're playing such a hard team because Bristol City are losing um, above us. Oh no! And there's a goal. One nil down. Just like that. Ryan Yates, six goal of the season. <sighs> and that could see our chances of automatic promotion done. I mean, it was tough, going to be tough anyway. But why has he come off his man so easy there? There's two centre-backs in the middle doing nothing. Okay. That's actually dropped us out of the playoff places. We've got a throw in with Williams to Grant to Williams to Benoit back to Lumley. Lumley long ball to Whitaker. They win the ball, but Lopez Sibley over the top to Grant. Grant, can he? Finish before he must have been offside, I don't know. Finish before I could even talk about it. Got another throw. Lopez, McEachern, Lopez. Marquise. Mewit. Mewit on the ball. Can he get his cross in? He can't, but he can get it to Williams. Williams. Mewit. Crosses. Grant. Bernabe. Mewit. Williams. Not quite. We're not playing horrifically. 
I'd been well. I think we're actually playing better than we played against Leeds. Keeping the ball quite well. Whitaker. He wins the header again. Lucas Javier. And everyone has gone from losing around us to now winning and us losing. Great ball by Jimmy Mewitt. And Grant has found a finish. Well then. An assist by Jimmy Mewitt. Let's have a look at that finish. Jimmy steals the ball. He's getting pressed, but he left-footed. Pings an absolute worldy ball over the top. Grant brings it down and slots it. Okay, well. A good time to score that. <sighs> They've got a throw in straight away. And they've scored. Literally straight from our goal. Didn't really even have a chance to do anything about it. Potter back. Lucas Javier. Uh, Luis Javier. It's a good finish to be fair. He's got inside the uh, the full back. And we've dropped all the way down to eighth. And they've got another set of throw in. Mew it. Clears nice and long and high. Be offside. Please be offside. And they scored again. And that's probably game over, I would have thought. I fought for that split second when we scored an equaliser. That maybe we had a chance, but since then. They've really gone on to punish us. We've that's too easy. There's two centre backs there again. Well then, I would say that that's definitely uh, definitely automatic dead, and it would leave us with two huge games left. Let's see if we can find our way back into the game. I thought maybe after they missed the penalty and we scored that equaliser, that, that would be it. But I'm going to take Williams off. He's looking like he's going to get himself sent off or give away another penalty. Lopez comes into the middle. Furlong can take the long throw so he can also play centre back. Can we try and win that ball back off him? We're pushing him back. And they've hit the post, I think. And they've scored. <laughs> well, we were never going to go through on goal difference anyway, but this has absolutely killed us now. So, from the elation of the uh, the Leeds result, where's that dropped us down to? Oh my goodness, all the way down to eighth. With two games to spare. And it's looking like that's game over, unfortunately. Not too much happening. Always going to be tough. Sunderland and I losing, which has moved us up a place. Just need one more of those teams to not get the result that they're getting. With 12 minutes left to play, it's bad. You don't want to be relying on other teams to <clears throat> not get good results. We've got a set piece. Bernabe, Marquez, McEachern, Sibley. And Grant scored again. 
Wow, Watford have beaten Bristol City 5-0. Well, that does give us some hope. It was a good goal, that, actually, to be fair. I mean, the build-up. So he's fumbled a little bit and he's tapped in. If Blackburn or Brentford could just not get the result. Oh, Sunderland have equalised, I think. Well then... Thank you very much for watching. Shouldn't be too depressed because I said I'd take two points from the two games and we've actually got three points. We will see you in the next episode. Remember to like, subscribe and share as much as possible. Thank you very much. See you soon.